What's up guys, Godspeed here, back for a tutorial video. In this video, I'm showing you how to build the cinema crops, the new little glider dude on Lost Island, a treehouse breeding pen. I'm at these corners today. I have a tree platform down. To start this build, place down a stone foundation halfway across this metal strut here. Then place down another, then three triangles and two squares, followed by three triangles and two squares all the way around. This has been built on official settings guys. Going forward all my videos will be built on official settings. I have another video coming today for the Dinopithecus uh, breeding pen so be sure to check that out. I'm on Lost Island at the moment. I'm on the Steam version because I wanted this video to be ready for release for you guys. So keep copying the pattern that I'm doing here. Triangle squares, triangle squares. Wherever there's a square foundation, put a triangle one down, or wherever there's a triangle foundation, put a square one down. And we're going to do this until we get to the edge. Yeah, as I said, guys, I have another one coming out today. The Dinopithecus, the baboon. I've done a monkey castle breeding pen for that one. So be sure to ding that notification bell if you don't want to miss out on that one. And of course, if you're not subscribed, please consider doing so and smashing that like button below. So we're going to continue this square triangle, square triangle pattern to the edge of this tree platform. Now when we get to the edge, we're going to add six triangle foundations on each of the three square foundations. Now these are going to be our little inlets. These are going to be where we store the, the new little glider dudes. I'm not even sure how you pronounce the name. Is it Cinema Crops or something like that? It looks right. Sounds right. So on these triangle foundations, add three tri triangle ceilings to each one, making a double hexagon. As I said guys, this is built on official settings. It's been a bit of an adjustment for me because obviously as you guys know, I like to build kind of crazy, but I feel like I was neglecting some of the official players. So going forward, uh, all my videos will be official settings but I'll be using my Twitch for unofficial settings. Once you've done that, place down five triangle foundations in each of these gaps. Symmetrical builds are always a bit repetitive, right? So if there's any areas where I can skip ahead here, I will do so for you to save you guys a bit of time. Take your wooden fence foundation. Place one on any of the two front triangle foundations. So I wanted these two dino pens ready for release day. So as, as of the moment, I'm spawning this on the Steam version of Lost Island and I'm waiting for release so I can spawn in these, uh, the little gliders. Same with the Dinopithecus. The only pen that I haven't built yet is the, uh, the other one, the Armour Gasaurus. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. The reason for that is because I'm, not, I'm unsure of the size of it. So I want to spawn one in to see the size before I make a pen for that. Snap a stone down a gate to each of these fence foundations. And then obviously slam a door in there. And 
I'm nearly at my goal guys of a uh, thousand subscribers getting a lot of traffic on this channel so I want to do a big thank you for all you guys who have supported me it really means the world to me take your stone walls and place three under each of the hexagons Like I said, these hexagons are going to be our little inlets for the ground floor portion storage for the uh, little glider dudes. What do you guys think of Lost Island? I think all the community maps are much better than the wildcard maps because I feel like the community know what a good map looks like. To me, Lost Island is like Ragnarok on steroids, perfect for building. Place down the fence foundation at the front of each of these hexagons. Yeah, I was speaking to some YouTubers and um, their advice was to do things on official settings. So I hope you guys like that change. Next, take your stone pillar. Place them four high on each side of each fence foundation. And notice when editing this video that for some reason when I go into my inventory the cursor remains on the screen. So I'm gonna have to look at that because it's hella annoying. Continue this all the way around. Let's go ahead and select your greenhouse walls. and a thatch ceiling and some wooden fence rails. Next snap your greenhouse wall to the edge of the ceiling here, not the fence foundation. And go ahead and place them four high, then snap a thatch ceiling and take your rails and we're looking for the blue side, then flip it and place those rails four high and remove the fat ceiling. Go ahead and repeat this on all of these sides. You'll have something that looks like this. Take your wooden triangle ceilings, place three at each door here with a wooden fence foundation at the front and snap a stone pillar either side. On the left here, go ahead and place a wall at the front and the right also. Again, go ahead and take your wooden railings and place them too high on the left here and also too high on the right. Continue this all the way around until you have something that looks like this. Place down a wooden fence foundation on each triangle foundation here on all sides.
go ahead and take your wooden pillar, place them full high on each side of each wooden fence foundation. I'm really excited to get for you guys to see the uh, monkey castle. So I wanted to make breeding pens for both these diners, but I didn't want to make them just boring. I wanted to make them to a theme. So I figured that monkeys, monkey castle, you know, and I figured little glider dudes would have something like a tree house, something you glide straight into. Rather than make it a boring on the ground pen. And I'm thinking something like a tech, a long tech building with uh, some inlets for the other dyno. I'm still brainstorming that at the moment, but I'll have something very, very soon. Now take your large wooden wall, flip it, and place them on all these gaps. Make sure that you are or snapping them to the foundation and no fence foundations. Continue flipping these all the way around in every gap. If you've built with me before, you know I like the uh, flip side of the wood. It looks better, it paints better. I chose a real bad area here to build at because the shade here, like, I, had to, I had to set the time of day like a hundred times uh, when building this. Lighting is not great here. Go ahead and select your triangle wooden ceilings and place them down five at the front here. And then another five. And then select three wooden uh, square ceilings and then continue with your five five triangle ceilings and then again three square wooden ceilings and then again five five triangle ceilings and can continue this all the way around When snapping these ceilings to each other, make sure you're snapping them to each ceiling and not to not to the uh, wooden walls. I do catch the wooden wall at one point, but I, I uh, edit it. So you see how you get a slight overlap? So when you get a slight overlap, you're snapping it to the ceiling. But when you don't get a slight, slight overlap, you're snapping it to the wall. And you think maybe that's not a big idea, but the bigger you get and the longer, the larger you build and the higher you build, the more those imperfections show. It's time to take shape now. Take your large walls, place them on the green snap point here, then not like that, and then flip them. 
So make sure it's the green snap point first and then flip. You know what I'm saying? So green first, then flip. And you get that nice cross like that. Green first, then flip. My last couple of builds, guys, was a um, uh, uh, gingerbread house, um, so and a windmill, medieval windmill. Uh, be sure to check those out if you haven't already. As I said, going forward, my builds will be official settings, but I have got one build left that I've already done, uh, which is uh, unofficial settings. So that will be the last of my unofficial builds. It's a Viking training camp. Really awesome build, but unfortunately, it's not official settings, so. Like I said, that would be the last one that I do on unofficial. Take your wooden single walls and place them down flip side facing. Make sure that they are the, the same snap point as the walls below. Now take your appropriate left and right slope walls and place them down. So I like to start with one first because then I don't have to change. I can keep the um, the wall selected. I really appreciate that addition to the wild cards update a few months ago. Like they like they, like they keep like they let us keep the uh, same uh, structure, you know, ready to use rather than have to keep reselected like they used to. Simple things like that are awesome for people that build. I'm hoping the build TLC adds stuff like that too. Let's go ahead and take your single wooden wall, place two down at the back here of each one. Go ahead and take your triangle sloped roof. Place them down like this. And let's create a peak on each one of these with six triangle sloped roofs. Continue this all the way around on each peak, you have something that looks like this. Go ahead and take your large walls and place them all around this inner part here. And then take your square wooden ceilings and place down six on each square ceiling. Again, six here. And continue this all the way around. A little tip here, you know the inner part there near the tree? I actually hid a generator in there, so it wasn't, it didn't take away the aesthetic of the rustic look. I still managed to power my base. Go ahead and add down four triangle ceilings in these triangle gaps.
take your wood and fence foundation and place one down either side of this little structure here. Continue this all the way around. and then slap two pillars either side, two stone pillars. Next, take your wooden window frame, snap one either side to the ceiling, not to the fence foundation, and then a wooden wall either side. Throw a greenhouse window into each of these window frames. Take your appropriate left and right slope wall, press, place one down on the left, one down on the right, and then a single wooden wall in the middle. Take your fat ceiling and place down three. In fact, let's repeat that on the opposite side first. We'll place down six wooden walls and then the appropriate left and right slope wooden wall. We're going to copy the pattern from the front minus the window frames. And now we need some sloped thatch. and place down three either side. Go ahead and repeat this all the way around. And you have something that looks like this. Next, take your greenhouse single door frame, place one in the front, one in the middle here, and one in the middle here. Make sure you get in that green snap point, not the blue snap point. And take your single greenhouse wall and place down five here, five on this side. And also five at the front. Again, make sure you're getting that green snap point. And take your appropriate left and right greenhouse walls and we're gonna create a, a little peak by using three greenhouse walls and three left sloped greenhouse walls. Repeat it on the other side with the opposite angle greenhouse sloped wall.
Next take your triangle sloped greenhouse roof and fill in this gap and create our little peak here. Now once you've done that, go ahead and really, go ahead and um, throw in a greenhouse door here and take your wooden rails and place them on the front here. And then repeat this all the way around. You have something that looks like this. Again, take your sloped greenhouse triangle roofs, place one down at this angle on the left and right here, and one on the left and right here again, creating this uh, pattern. And then this pattern, so we have that little overlap. So as you can see, I've done this all the way around. I'm going to go ahead and create a little hatchery here. So place down some uh, wooden walls and take your air conditioners. Now these don't have to look pretty because they're going to be hidden. Place down two triangle ceilings here. Sorry, two square ceilings here. We're going to add some more air conditioners up top. A very basic um, hatchery setup. I'll also add some egg incubators as well. If you're not that far along on arc yet, you can always make a little torch setup area. This is the problem with official. Let me go ahead and remove these two. Then I'll go ahead and add a couple of stairs here and some rails. Very basic hatchery setup. And I'm going to skip ahead in a second, guys, and add some decor and spawn in some of those little glider dudes. So I'll be back in a second. Well, as you can see, guys, I've skipped ahead a little bit here and uh, decorated to my taste. I put some crop plots on the slanted triangle roofs here some uh, water rain uh, collectors and some taps i painted all the greenhouse cyan inside here i've done it fairly uh, basic i've got the cryo fridges the egg incubators fridges all stuff for raising babies and i've got my little glider dudes in here and some more glider dudes in here and some taxis and some glider dudes i painted the hatchery green let me take you upstairs Upstairs I've just put basic storage, vaults and deadies and I've created myself a little bedroom here. Well that's it for me tonight guys, I hope you enjoyed that and until next time, that's me out. Laters.